so good afternoon everybody and welcome to the Morris Federation series of workshops during lockdown and uh, today we have another Cotswold workshop by request because uh, people were asking if we could do Cotswold every month uh, so yes today we have um, a Bledington jig uh, lumps plum pudding and it's going to be taught by our, our resident teachers Andrew Knight and Lynn Steele with musician Tony Warren. I'm handing over to you, Andrew. Thank you, Pauline, Jenny and Brian from Morris Fed. And thank you very much for all your time and effort on putting these on for us all, because very little else in the Morris world is happening apart from online. A few practices, but it's brilliant to be able to do these and reach so many people from right around the world. So from Europe, Scandinavia, America, welcome. Nice to see you. Um, thank you very much for coming along. Um, the Bledington dances are what we're going to be doing today. Um, we're going to be running through lumps of plum pudding, which I hope is the one that we agreed, because um, that's the one I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> and there's a degree of demonstrations, there's joining in, and there will be time for questions in the hour and a half that we've got here. We will just cover the one jig. You could also use this same jig, slightly modified, um, to Hyla Mary music, which works perfectly well to, uh, to that tune as well. Anyway, so without further ado, we're going to go through just a little bit of a warm up. And um, so it's getting people's bodies moving and allowing their joints to supple and their muscles to get into the right frame of mind for this. Um, and it basically is just a case of moving and doing um, a bit of stepping practice. So what I'm going to get you to do is to just go from one foot to the other. If you look at the Drew camera, you will be able to see my feet. And then just picking up the pace a little as it lumbers up, then rising off the floor. And what we have found is this is an extremely good time to practice your stepping technique. So just do it gently for now. And your stepping technique, as I'm sure I don't need to tell you, is not a running on the spot movement, but a kicking in front movement. And it's always done on the toes with the heels not hitting the ground at all in any of the movement. On the Drew camera, you should be able to see a side view of that. And just to make it completely plain, I'm going to switch into what I'm not expecting to see. This is not Morris step, nor is this. But this is. Okay, now we're going to add the arms in, arms up, so your elbows are at shoulder height. And for the step, the arm movement for Bledington is a circling inside and around. If I get my handkerchiefs, you might be able to see me easier. Okay, have a rest with the feet. Make sure you've got your handkerchiefs, however you wish to hold them. So arms up and it's around down your nose. And I particularly teach arms from shoulder to elbow straight in place with very little movement and with the movement of the handkerchiefs is in the wrist and shoulder and now I'd like you to just change the, the um, timing of it to be strong on the downward movement and slower on the upward movement works better for me if I don't hit the lampshade And when we add the steps, the downward movements, that one is on the first and third foot fall. 
So it's going to be one, three, one, three. Let's try that for a bit. I know we have some people who do big shoulder movements, but I'm actually going to be making it look very much more like propellers. rest. I think another point to make on this is that if you make really big movements and you tend towards dancing slightly fast, you will not have time to make two complete circles and the Bledington tradition does demand that you make the two complete circles with the arm movements for each double step. So you literally are going to do round and round so that you're ready in the next place for the arm movements. King Ina by default does not dance very fast with any of these things. And today, because of lockdown, we're probably going to be quicker than we normally would be. And for learning, sometimes we vary the pace. But the, the weight and the timing is all in the bounce off of the ground. And that's where you can slow your 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 um, slow your dance down in order to be able to perform correctly all of the step, as in complete the step and complete the arm movement. So let's try that one one more time with that in mind, please. Ready and one, three, one. Slowing it down. makes it a much more vigorous thing. And rest again. Are there any questions or problems with that particular mo um, thing? I think uh, I've had a request if we could actually see your feet, Andrew. Now you've I know you're trying to demonstrate the hand movements, but see your feet in the same picture as your head. Feet in the same picture as the... Yeah, um, just, can you angle it down a bit? That's it, just a little bit, yeah. But I know you're trying to demonstrate the hand movement. Sure. So. Um, the very bottom edge is my desk, and it's huge. <laughs> okay, um, hands, feet, So that was the front view. Does anybody need a rear view? The rear view would be this. What you may also have noticed is that the footfalls are not in strict time. It's because the tune is a 6-8 tune. So that the 1 to 2 movement is going to be longer than the 2 to 3 movement. So you've got 1, 3, 4, 6 and actually in the... Um, the counting here which is not musical counting I'm well aware because I'm not musical um, <clears throat> right foot start yes um, Andy thanks that was the next bit <laughs> uh, but right foot start is definitely correct um, okay so I'm going to move on now to the side step sequence and because I'm puffing and Lynn's actually muted I'm going to get Lynn to show you so I'm getting my breath back <laughs> okay so I'm not muted actually there we go ah. 
So the side step sequence, it, it moves. So you start off facing diagonally. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What Lynn has shown you is the long side step. Um, I'm now going to ask her to augment that and show you the short side step. One, two, three, hop, please. Lynn. Just one, two, three, hop. One, two, three, hop. That's all that is. One, two, three, hop. One, two, three, hop. And um, what I'd like also to draw your attention to is the fact that it's lead hand, one hand circling in exactly the same way as the double step was. And what Lynn's doing is just turning through 45 degrees from 45 degrees to the side to face front, front on the hop and then starting at the 45 degrees the other way. Now for those people in the know, it's a closed side step, which means you cross your legs across each other rather than separate the feet away from each other. Right, let's give that a go a few times. Uh, the footfalls are one across, one behind, one across, hop. I'll show you, or Lynn will show you. Focus on her feet. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, hop. One, two, three, hop. One, two, three, hop. Thank you, Lynn. And I draw your attention to the fact that the second footfall is behind the first. Now that makes it very much a different step and a different movement in this in this tradition. OK, so when we come to do the foot up, you're going to be doing four double steps and the two of those side steps. Just bear that in mind for a minute, because the next part, which is the end section of the foot up, the end section of the slows, and the once to yourself is the shuffle back. Now the shuffle back, foot together jump, which is the two bar combination that uh, finishes all of these sections off. Um, we've had a play with just how to teach this on Zoom. Normally you have to stand with people for hours on end until they get it. Um, but we're going to make the attempt of doing it in about five minutes on Zoom. What I've done is to record a slow motion and I'm going to play that at the beginning and we can come back to it again a little later. So let's see if the technology worked like it did about five minutes ago. <laughs> um, and I'm going to share my screen. That one. Right, this is the shuffle step. And I'd like for you to be particularly um, mindful of exactly where the feet go. We can play this several times so you can watch it through. So be, be sure to watch closely. Here we go. It is in slow motion. We don't really dance this slow. Honest. That's the step forward into the present. And then we start with the first drag back with the twist of the foot up, landing high, coming back, feet together, twisting back the other side, coming back, feet together, ish, and then a jump. And you've just had a very close up view of my flat feet. I normally dance with orthotics in my shoes so I don't end up with the roll. But there it is. OK, so breaking it completely down. Every movement is stuck to the ground. And what I'd like to do is build this movement up over a few different things that we're going to be doing. The first thing to do is to go up onto tiptoes. So everybody literally comes up onto tiptoes. 
I need to unshare or you can't see me. You need to come up onto your tiptoes. And I want you just to drag both toes back together without coming off the ground. So you're literally going to shove yourself backwards like that. And it's without leaving the ground. Just drag your feet along the ground a few times. And that's the movement that you'll make. I did write all this down, but I didn't write it on there. Um, the next thing to do is as you drag back, the first turn is the left foot. So you drag and turn, drag and straight, drag and turn the other foot, drag together, uh, that's the foot together, and then a jump and a land, so the feet together jump, which is the, the last movement. Okay, let's try that a few times. So it's drag, straight, drag, straight. <clears throat> If you need to go back and just do the drags to begin with and then try and put the twists, that's fine. The thing to avoid is the black backward slalom. And also the wiggle bum. Because your backside should not be wiggling. It's just a turn at the hips. So you're doing back and back and if I do it from the side it's going to be back and back and for those who are already completely sort of Morris savvy it's an incredibly lazy back step where you simply just drag your feet along the ground without getting any height at all do we have issues with this Eliza what can I help with uh, sorry um when we're moving backwards you said we twist are we twisting left first or right first your left foot twists first Okay, thank you. But your body and your backside and all the rest go straight, yeah? Okay. So it's just a, a movement, turnout movement from your hip. Okay? Okay, so thank you. Drag and twist the left, go straight, twist the right, go straight. Left first, straight. Okay, thanks. Okay, anybody else need questions answered on this? I am seriously impressed. This is one of the most difficult things to teach. <laughs> and in a distant environment, to be able to teach it and have everybody get it is just incredible. Okay, Clara, I'm just going to run through that for you. There is a rise and fall with this movement. So that you do the, the feet in parallel. Look at my um, foot, foot screen at the moment. The feet in parallel, you're down. On the twist, you're up. And the, the syncopation of the timing is kind of and up, and up, goes that way round. So you've got a pause between the first bit and the second bit, which is just a minute pause just to take that timing from one place to the next. Does Lynn agree? Yeah, I do. She does. Yeah. If you were counting one, two, three, four, five, six, you'd be coming up on the one and the four. 
So you would be going and one, two, three, four, five, six. Does that answer the question? We, we, we do have time enough that we can go over this for a while. It, it, we're not hurried on this, so don't think you can not ask him because we need to move on. We don't. Sarah Crofts, I can't hear you. What are the arms doing? Balance. Thank you. I mean, you'd want them to be balanced, otherwise you're going to fall over. <laughs> uh, yes, agreed, Mike. That's a good plan. Would anybody like to see the slow-mo again? We've got at least, we've got more than one yes, so let's do that. Now that you've had a go at it, Here we are. I'm stepping into it. I'm preparing. I'm moving. And here's four. And down for six. There's the foot together. And there's the levitation ability. And I've got a small bounce on the back because I was doing it in isolation. So, okay. One more time, or are we good to go and practice? Doesn't take long. One more time. Rather regret doing it than not doing it. Okay, if I show you the front view of the way we go into that movement, then you'll see what the various presents and stuff are about. So what I tend to do is I step forward and make this presentation as I'm about to start. Then I go up. So the arms for the jump are up in front and down. For the shuffle, the arms are balanced. So I put myself into balance as a presentation of starting. I do my shuffle and I do the jump in the way you would expect to do the jump. And then as you rise out of the landing of the jump, that's when you're going to take your first foot fall into a double step. So out of the jump, you're then going to drop onto that. Uh, Lynn, I think it does end up being four slides back, yes. 
but they're fairly short to be fair. Uh, Cami, I will leave you to chisel that one out. <laughs> because I was, what I was doing when I recorded it is what I tend to do. Um, I expect what you've seen is the minute detail of exactly how I tend to do it. But I wouldn't over focus on it. I'd listen to the music and time it to that. Lynn, that's exactly what we're about to do. To the music. Sarah Linda, I'll come to that. Um, may we have the tune, please? Yes. Again, please. sufficient for demo at the moment or would you like it again a couple more times most people are saying um, yeah Tina got you a couple more times again please again please again please Everybody happy? We've got wavy hands and thumbs in the air that I can see. Do we have that on all screens? We do. We do. We do. We do. Great. Yeah, thou can, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> um, okay, to Sarah Linda's point, um, the faint step, the introductory step, etc. There is not one in Bledington. Ever at all, not nowhere, not know how. There are occasions when you need to change feet, but that's only very occasionally 
And I think there is once in this dance where that happens, but otherwise the preparatory hop that you see in things like Bampton and Fieldtown is absent in Bledington. Um, and it's one of those things that the really picky egghead people, when they're looking at you, will just go tut, 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 if you don't do it. Um, and um, and I'm sure we've all met them when we've been dancing out, and it's probably been me, actually, thinking about it, because <laughs> I tend to do tut, 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 um, and pull things to bits when I see them, but only to myself and never to anyone else. <laughs> Um, so that's that's where we are. So that's the start. Then we go into the um, the foot up. The foot up ends with a shuffle back um, and a foot together jump again. Um, and I'd like to do that several times. And then we can go into the chorus learning. Okay. So we're going to do intro A and A um, two or three times, just running it through. Then we can stop and um, get rid of any hitches and glitches people might have on that. That's uh, A and A, please, tone. Well, multiple A's. Take a rest. If there are any questions, now's the time. Eliza. Sorry, me again. Um, oh, you're, you're right under my screen, so I can see you easy. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are your feet doing between the side steps and the moving back? Because mine don't want to do whatever they're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Um, I'm coming down into the parallel footfall, a foot together type of position, okay. which is the preparatory for the, ja the drag. <clears throat> so essentially it's exactly what you do in the ones to yourself. Okay. Because of not having a, a jump start or anything like that, I never know when to start. If you could say next <clears throat> one, then I'd know when to start, but <clears throat> I'm standing there waiting for a cue to start. And then I, I start after you because I don't know when to start. Right, no, it's... Um... I can't, the music doesn't tell me. Okay, um, no, you kind of have to learn the music and when it is um, for that one, which is what I had to do. And not being musical, it doesn't tell me either, particularly. So I, I completely get, Carol, where you are. Uh, Coral, sorry, where you are. Um, I, will, I will try and do that, but if you can at least count bars... I think it's bar five you make the presentation in, or six. is it bar six? Six. Bar six you make the presentation in. Um, I told you I wasn't musical. <laughs> That's the presentation. Sue's doing it. Lovely. That's brilliant. Um, <clears throat> and, and, and that's basically when you do it. But you've got time because of that presentation to sort of get yourself placed. I will call it though for you. Other questions? Nobody on my screen has their hand up.
nope we're all good okay let's do that a couple a couple of three times through again um and i'll try and um if if coral if you can just keep a really good ear on where the music goes um hopefully that will then give you the cue that you need when i'm not here to tell you same again please bar person Are we good? I think I misunderstood. Uh, sorry. You're gone. You're on. I think I misunderstood. I mean, I'm not, am I on? Um, when we finish it, I thought we just did four straight backs, but you're actually doing your feet again. You do. <laughs> the, the, the way that I tried to build it up was to get the, the four scrapes and then the scrapes with the turns. And then the scrapes with the turns and the rise and the fall. Yeah. And that's just that movement. So you're doing scrapes and scrapes and then feet together jump. At the end as well. You do that at the end of the foot up and you'll do that again at the end of the slows. Okay, thank you. Are we good? <coughs> Uh, here in the southwest UK, it's it's pretty hot and the sun's blazing in. I'm just going to take a swig of water. Um, hydration, ladies and gentlemen, is a good plan always. Take your time. Have a swig if you need one. Lynn. <laughs> All I was going to say is my internet is a bit unstable and keep I keep freezing. <laughs> so if I do that, don't be alarmed. I don't know why it's doing it. As long as you freeze in midair, we'll just think you're really good. Yeah. <laughs> Here in the Northeast US, it's cold enough you could. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Well, you can see the sunshine through Andrew's screen there. It's really warm. It's really warm. It's lovely. Yeah. Um, okay, so. Um, Sue Anderson, you seem to have frozen with your thumb on the lens. <laughs> Hi, I was trying to type a message in. I just wanted you to go through when you're doing the side steps. How many times do the hankies go round before they come back down again? Um, one on each side. So you've got one and two and other and other and balance and balance and feet together land. <coughs> so it's the same hanky timing for the side step as it is for the double step. You're doing two circles per four steps. Four footfalls, sorry, four footfalls, two hanky turns. <laughs> um, I didn't see you there, Clive. Um, Joe, yes, this is our usual speed, if anything, slightly fast. <laughs> yeah. 
but we're we're unfit on account of lockdown so we are going a little bit quicker um have we had enough of that i see claudia asking again but i'm not sure whether that's actually a current request or an old one no harm doing it again anyway uh, okay right the uh, chorus <clears throat> Earlier on, Lynn showed you the long side step. And what I'm going to do is to get her to uh, to do that again for you, please. OK, so again, starting with the right foot, but you turn slightly diagonally. So you're stepping across. And as you do, you're doing one, two, three, four. So you're now facing the front and then you're going the other way. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. I think it works out as seven foot falls on a hop. Yeah, do you do a hop or not? I do. I think I do, yeah. Yeah. Um, just a reminder that your um, for the sidestep movement, your elbow needs to be well up. Should be elbow at shoulder height and not below. Okay. And your arm points forwards, not upwards. I think. Talking about the hop, I think there's a hop in the middle, but not at the end. Yes. Yes. That would make sense. Okay, let's just try that a little bit. Uh, no tunes. Uh, we're all right without the tune for now. Thanks. So you literally just one, two, three, four. Okay, everybody good? Are you turning as you do it from here, 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 or staying in that place and then a sharp turn to the other side? Well, we're turning from 45 degrees to straight and then the turn to 245 degrees back to straight. Thank you. Okay, so it's literally... And you're just turning there to straight and then starting there and coming back to straight. But when you finish that section, you'll need to be face back on to where you started. So are you leaning or are you asking? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yes, Mike, that's a good point. I'm not sure I understand the question, Andy. Can you um, can you unmute and, and say it? Um. The sequence, there's no back step in the middle, it's foot up, side step. No. Uh, on the foot up? So you, start fo off, you start off back step, foot up, straight into side step, and then, then the shuffle backs. Uh, for the foot up, yes, but it's yes. a short side step there. We've yeah, 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 yeah. We've, we've moved on to the chorus now, sorry. Oh I yes, but I, I, that's, a, that's a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you've got you've got eight bars of music to fill. You do four with double steps, two with the short side steps, one with the shuffles, and one with the feet together jump, and that should make eight. I think. I hope. <laughs> All right. And then moving to the chorus is another eight bars. The long side steps occupy two bars each. All right. We're good. The next part in the chorus is a foray caper. 
and there are two of those um, which are known as hut two threes or um, other things of that nature um, but it's a launch land change movement that you're going to make um, and again I'm going to get Lynn to uh, to demo this so if you want to say something to highlight you <laughs> okay so we should have the right foot free to step onto to do step up change step up change again it's step launch and change step launch and change yeah a lot of people will have done that before yeah a lot of people have done that before everybody happy with that good 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 what I would caution you to do is, is to take complete note of Lynn's timing on that. Yeah, can I see that again? Sorry. Yes, of course. Yeah. Stepping off on the right. Step, launch and change. Step, launch and change. Again. Step, launch and change. Step, launch and change. Okay. If you'd like to see a foot view, I can do that. <laughs> Did I just freeze that as well? Not on mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go right foot down, launch up, land on the left, and then change. So you've got your left foot free to do the next step. We all good and happy? What I can see is looking good. This is going well. Okay. And then the chorus is finished off with four plain capers. And the arms for the capers are the usual waves that you would expect to do. Um, so it's the, the, yeah, waves is what uh, Sharp calls them. Um, okay. With a, a good change of leg. So... Someone would like to see the back view again, Drew. Of all of it? Of the, the um, furry capers. Okay, so the Drew camera. From the side. The arm movements are really designed on this to lift you fully into the air so that you use the big gather and up on the, the launching and then come back down the same movement out into the balance position to, um, to perform the second part of the change. So rather than it being a field town up over the top and round, it's like two J's back to back mirror imaged with each other. So you're literally looking at that and that. Up and out. Where in Field Town you would do that. On this one, we do that. Which puts you neatly into the position for the capers okay I'm going to dance the chorus through a couple of times so you can see it um, and then I'll get the music to keep going with the chorus and then you can join in when you're ready and try it out so I'll demo it once and then join in when you're ready uh, may we have multiple B's please musical
caper and caper and caper and caper. Side step. Take a rest. Um, a point on the um, the sidestep arms. They come down your nose. And then out round and up over. I can, I can only see something like 49 people on here and um, there's one or two going the other way. Part of the problem is what well, the music stays with you. And when you stop dancing, I'm copying you. Ah. It doesn't go to the other screen because the music is holding the sound and stays with you. See that? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Well, that's me worn out then. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll try that again um, and I'll try and keep dancing. Oh, that shouldn't happen because we've spotlighted. So I'm not sure what's happening. Who's Who is having that problem? Coral's having the problem. Then. Coral. Okay. Uh, are you on an iPhone, Coral? Um, my my iPhone is the sound, and my right. tablet is the big picture which I'm following. So I think because they're sort of linked, it seems to be stuck with the sound. So in other words, whatever Zoom I'm doing, it's only the person who's talking I can see on my tablet. And okay, the other. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm used to it, but it's just with when it's a new one, I'm trying to copy the dancing. Uh, have we, all oh right, timing question answered, still 6-8. Uh, Cammy, yes, whatever the music says. Always go with the music. The music's always right. <laughs> I have to say that, he's playing. <laughs> um, but they can count and I can't, so that's, you know, that's good. Um, okay, multiple Bs, and I will try and keep dancing uh, for Coral, and uh, we'll see how we get on. Multiple Bs again, please. Are we good? Coral's got thumb waggling going on. That's always a good sign. <laughs> okay, have a break, have something to drink. For those of you who are out in the American Northwest, I am so sorry that you're freezing. Sarah Cross, if you were saying something to me, I can't hear you. Oh. Good. Sorry, I, my east and my west was never great. Uh. Right, I think we're there. I think we can go to the next step, the next section. Um, the first slow. And we are going to do four of these movements in a row. This is where you really wish you'd warmed up well. Because you're going to make a, um, a lunging movement with your right toe going behind first. 
and this isn't a little curtsy this is a fairly deep movement uh lynn highlighting <laughs> hello i'm in my lounge <laughs> could you turn sideways for us lynn please say something okay <laughs> how do you see me okay so particular things to take notice of while she's still there is upright body balanced arms head looking up and forwards weight towards the front leg and very little on the back leg back leg only for balance thank you lynn Being able to hold that for hours on end is what you get for 40 odd years in ballet teaching. <laughs> True. <laughs> and from the front, again, it's not a curtsy. There's no crossing of the feet behind you. Limbs are just in line, literally. If, if anything, that's only the only place they will get to. Now, this is a health and safety point. If you cross your leg behind you you are risking your front knee if you are also going to be feet turned out to a point you are further risking and destabilizing your front knee and you are also going to end up in a position where you're only using half the thigh muscles you will not be as strong my advocation to you is please just don't do that <laughs> it is just a lot safer to do the straight foot so your hip your knee and your foot are all in line that your feet are in parallel to each other there's no or very minimal crossing of the leg behind you this is a straight movement don't forget whatever the gender side of things is in morris it was copied from blokes <laughs> it wasn't copied from ladies so it will have been shown to the collectors blokey whatever the right and wrong of that is it's what it was <laughs> All right. but it is also safer that way so with the other camera straight on it's going to be down there and even with flat feet, I want you to see that that line is through the toe and on the other side the same. And from the side, if you find that you're having difficulties getting into that position, that your hip will not let you do anything other than bend forward at the waist over the front leg then some of your muscles are way too tight and there is a case for stretching them in your warm down with more attention to them and it's particularly the groin muscles that you're looking to stretch and i would advocate that you look up a good stretching book and not just some be like person on YouTube, but a good stretching book um, or a proper dance stretching book, warming down book, and do the psoas stretch. And that is P-S-O-A-S, which will incorporate the thigh stretch as well. That will give you more range <coughs> and will allow you to keep your body upright whilst you're doing this movement. Yes, Cammy, I can. Looking uh, at the, the, the rear view camera, the Drew camera. The foot is turned out, it's not straight. My back leg is crossed behind here. This is where the stress is, and here. From the side, it looks the same.
And that was um, how not to. This is we... going to be challenging for a nearly 80 year old, but I'll do my best. It's the leaping I can't do, but and I'll go down as far as I can and that'll be it. It's a good job this one doesn't have a change of kneels, doesn't it, really? <laughs> 16 times with a leap in between. Um, <clears throat> the, um, the limitations of personal physiology um, will stop some people getting quite as deep a bend um, as we're demonstrating. Um, basically because I'm an osteopath by profession, Lynn is a dance teacher by profession, we have a degree of ability to push ourselves into those things. Um, my sister's a dance teacher as well. I grew up with her. So we, we, we've got a bit of an advantage there going on. Um, if you don't go over pushing it, if you can't achieve it, achieve close to it. If you get a little bit of stretch, it's fine. If you get a lot of stretch, you're risking injury. And please do not try and copy somebody who can go massively low. If you think you, if you, you, until you've actually pushed and looked for it, see how far your limit is. But if you make the shape, you will be doing very well. And I know I'm laboring this point. It's important because it's what will keep you dancing and keep you safe. And I think that's worth it. Okay, so the sequence is going to be drop down, tap your foot, right one in this instance, step onto the right foot, big change, right foot in the air. So the big movement is on the third to the fourth element. Done all together as Lynn is demonstrating. Okay, back, tap on the floor, small step, big step. I didn't do the arms right. <laughs> back, tap, small step, big step. Back, tap, small step, big step. Okay, we need to talk about the change of foot. Yeah, we're well, just going to cover that. So. That's our next place. So what you'll have found after the first one, that your right foot is in the air. You've now got to put the right foot to be the landing in front one, and your left one has got to be stuck out behind. So you basically, in one move, drop into the kneel on the front foot, whilst pushing the left one straight down behind you, like that. And that's the change of step. When you do the big movement, your hands go up and out to pull you into the air again. Okay. Everybody happy with that? You just, We're going to do four of those in a row. Could you just speak through it again? Sorry, I seem to have the wrong knee in the air at the end of the first. Right. Right back. Right tap. Right step. Left caper. Left back. Left step. Left down. Right caper. Repeat again. Right back, step, step, paper, back, step, step, paper. And your sequence of those is two with the right behind, two with the left behind, but you're going to do right and then left and then right and then left. And when you come up from the last one, the last caper, your right foot should be in the air. And you're then ready to rise and do your side step out of the section. So you do short side step right, short side step left, and the shuffle 
feet together, land, which is the break movement. And that's the first slow complete. Anybody want me to go over that again? Because we're going to dance this a number of times. I'm seeing one looks like Debs. Yeah, um, Drew, can I, um, can you just tell me, is it always left foot forward on the shuffle backs? The left twists first every time, okay. yes. Thank you. Okay, with the music, please. Not getting it in here. Anybody got any questions until we do that three or four times through? Eliza, you have? Um, when we're going down, like when we're lunging down, is that on the first or the second beat of the bar? First. Okay, or maybe the anacrusis. Somebody will tell me. First. 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 Thank you. <clears throat> and again, please. For those of observant of you, you will realise your left foot is in the air as you come out of the foot back sections. And the drop back with the left foot behind as you go over to the right, which is almost an anacrusis movement, is actually in the notation for this dance. So it's a legitimate faint step because it's what they did not what people have put in after. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> we good? Yes, Lynn, you agree? You agree? Fantastic. Okay, that all that again then, please. That slow section, a little bit more. <laughs> Okay, are we all good? Have a drink if you need. 
jog on the spot if you're in the north east of America. <laughs> Okay, should we do the whole dance to that point? That's what we'll do. And we've only one more piece to do after that, and we should be just about there. Have a drink, have a rest. <laughs> Cami, yes, there is a foot change. Okay, any other questions? All too puffed out. <laughs> Good. If you're exhausted, I've done it right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next slow. We should be able to get through this. And two or three goes through the jig before we we finish today. I would just like to point some reminders. It's arms high. Movement as propellers. It's very easy for you to drop the elbows. If you keep your hands in, you just end up looking like a chicken. <laughs> Nick's died on the sofa. <laughs> 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 it's um it's a vertical plane for the handkerchiefs that i'm teaching here uh sharp and the collectors say that it's a vertical plane i know some clubs do um 45 degree um angled one and i know some even do a horizontal one i would offer up longbra is horizontal exactly the same Bledington is vertical and the notes are quite clear on that. So I'm pushing that. Um, feet, please be on your toes when you're dancing, your heels. If you are having trouble landing, you're landing on your heels a lot and your knees are hurting, it's because you're impacting on your heels. If you do not, you will not get knee pain from dancing because the shock absorbers will be working. If you land on your heels, they're not. You've hit the stops. The easy way to get out of that is a small tack in the bottom of your shoe, <laughs> <laughs> which is not a serious suggestion, YouTubers, really. <laughs> and the second slow. The arms in the balanced position. 
up on your supporting toe and you're going to come across with a hop on the first so you're going to go cross 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 big caper the arms being balanced 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 high up straight to balance your right foot goes across in front first your weight is all on the back foot the left foot in this instance so it's there <clears throat> okay and it's change 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 caper and then your left leg will be in the air and you put it straight across so on that one you don't change feet just show you it will be one two three okay one two three high up on the caper at the end of the, the fourth movement your arms go straight up in the air there are four of these there is no clear direction as to what the free foot does some will put the toe down on the drew camera some will put the toe down some will put the heel down some will not touch at all i haven't a view as to right that i put my toe down but that's just me and it's not definitive I do not hold the book of words on this, it's just what I do. But the book of words does not give you a clue. So do what you're, what you're most comfortable with. And I've seen all three versions of it. Heel, 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 and toe, 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 or in the air, if you wish. Then you're going to come out of that with the side step and the shuffle again in the same way as we came out of the previous slow any questions at this point shall we try it and then go for questions again with the music please I mean, they, um, it's three to four, which is where the big emphasis is. Uh, as with the first one, it's the third to the fourth element. So you've got that really big leap into the caper and your landing is just the caper landing because the movement is actually in the air prior to the landing. But I think you understood that. <clears throat> Any other questions on that? Nobody else is waving at me on my screen, <laughs> except Eliza, who is still sitting under one of my cameras. <laughs> sorry. Um, could, you demonstrate, sorry. could you demonstrate the step into the caper for me, please? Yeah. You're going to go across, 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 big move. So it's just onto the opposite leg than what you've just put. Yeah, it's, it's, it's only change, 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 change. It's just that last one is much bigger than the others. That makes sense. Thank you. All right. And then we finish the dance with another chorus. So we're going to do a bit more dancing now, and it's going to be 
slow and then chorus and it's the second slow and the chorus to dance please so a C and a B for the musicians Okay, there's an official five minutes left on the clock. I'll take questions now. And then we'll do the whole thing through and warm down. Unless Pauline tells me I can do it twice or three times. Andrew, can I ask a question? Sure. Yeah, me here. Um, on going from the slow, those slow capers from one sequence, after your caper, do you hop on that same foot to start the second slow caper? Yes. I okay. Think you, I I, think you... The problem was my screen yes. kept switching people, dancers, at, right at that moment, so I couldn't see it. But yes. Yes. So there's um, a Lynn, 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 Lynn is saying yes as well, and I, I yes. agree. You're going to hop as the foot comes across. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Right. Same again. Start again. <laughs> My bad. Last chance for questions. Clara, yes, we do. We'd have the presented foot on the caper. Anything else? Nothing coming up on chat. Nobody waving madly at any of the administrators. Can we do the whole dance, please? Start to finish. Thank you. 
timing Andrew. <laughs> Do we have any questions? I think we we'll get a lot of heavy breathing. <laughs> heavy. Never make Please sir, uh, may I be excused? Yes. You may. <laughs> Cheerio Andrew. Uh, Clara. I think your question is Yeah, I'm just wondering um so I know you pop up on that downbeat do the arms go out before you pop up into the shuffle backs or at the same time Do you know what I have no idea what I'm doing it <laughs> Maybe I should just watch it a few more times <laughs> Straight, uh, straight at the on the hop, I think. Yeah, I think they just go straight there. Um, I think, so the, I think the, the hop of the of the sidestep of the I last. I think I think that's where they would tend to go up. I think okay. I'm already I'm already preempting the next thing, so I'm probably going there, going to that place. That okay. makes sense. Yeah, it does. Thank you. Okay. Thanks very much to everyone uh, for a, a great hour and a half. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. No, I loved it. It was right. a good exercise. I'll never make a trip with you and for the Morris dancers here in Wales, but it's been lovely. Thank you so much. It was well Thank presented. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Coral. Um, thank you very and who, much. Who, who, who let the cat out of the bag on birthdays? Annabelle? <laughs> Um, are we going to have a, have a video of this? Question for Paul. Yes, yes, I will uh, post the video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now talk on me. <laughs> Are we going to do it one more time or not? Yeah, why not? Let's. We happy with that? People are leaving, but that's fine. They got the video. Yeah, let's do it again. Yes, let's. Yeah, let's do it one more time. Yeah. Leela, <laughs> you can yeah. email us. Let's. I am quite happy for Pauline to give you my contact details. Same again, please.
helping me host. Happy and, birthday, uh, Andrew. Oh, is it his birthday? How many years is it? Or don't we ask? What am I supposed to be doing? We're going <laughs> to sing you happy birthday now, is that it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, if you'd like to all unmute yourselves <laughs> and sing happy birthday to Andrew, who'd like to start us off? Go on. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm one designated singer, and the rest of us mute and just move on. Who <laughs> knows? I'll torture for Andrew. Judy. Hi. Thank, Thank you very much for coming. Thank you to Jane. Thank you. See you next time. Thanks, Andrew. Bye. 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 Bye